Well, in previous topic, we discussed about the layer two interface type on this Palo Alto firewall. So this network design still belong to layer two interface type. So what we had in there, we had this Palo Alto firewall and we had the different segmentation for the VLAN or different zones. And we created the policy to control the traffic based upon application. But at the same time, we had this router here, which was handling the layer three capability which means this router was using for the routing perspective. So on this firewall, we were basically doing the layer two segmentation and on the router, we were doing the routing. Now in this topic, what we're gonna do basically, we're going to combine this both layer two and layer three on this Palo Alto firewall, which is going to be handled the segmentation as well as going to handle the routing. So that is going to be the part of layer three interface type. So in today's topic, we're going to understand about the layer three interface type where we can use the segmentation as well as we can use the routing capability by using the layer three interface. So let's go to firewall and try to configure the layer three interface. As you can see, there are the list of interfaces are available where one slash one and one slash two, they are already been configured in layer three. So let's consider these are the interfaces basically not available right now. And we are going to take the interface one slash three until one slash eight for our uh, demonstration. Well, in order to configure this interface, first we need to decide which interface is going to be the part of which zone. So let's consider this is the interface. What we're going to use, this is one slash three is going to be the part of inside zone, right? And this is going to be one slash four part of the DMZ zone. So let's give it as a name DMZ zone for example web and this is going to be dmz for the sql and this is the interface we're going to use one slash five and the next is this is going to be the interface one slash six and this is going to be the zone which is outside okay so these are the zones we want to consider before we configure the Palo Alto firewall so we only going to consider one slash three and one slash six just for our demonstration purpose we might configure one slash four as well so let's go and configure this layer three interfaces on Palo Alto firewall so on firewall we decided we're going to configure one slash three as an inside zone so let's give some comment in here inside zone and the interface type is going to be layer three this time and now in here it is going to ask us the virtual router so this time what is happening basically this firewall is going to act as a router earlier we saw we had the vlan information right because that was going to be the part of the segmentation but this time we are getting the virtual router so it is asking us let's create the router so let's go to virtual router and select one of the virtual router so I have created one of the router, which is internet router. We are going to use the same because if I'm going to create one more router, it's going to give me an error because this is demonstration firewall. Uh, so I cannot create like multiple router, but we can create multiple router when it is live firewall, where you can have the traffic can be sent to two different router. We will discuss about that later in the particular section of the virtual routers but let's assume this is the one of the internet router we are going for our demonstration now it is going to ask us the zone so we also have the inside zone let's use the inside zone right and then it's going to ask us the ip address so this is basically going to act as a router right so it is going to be the gateway so what would be your gateway ip so i'm going to define as a 192 168 we already have 48 so let's give it a 58 and then 1 slash 24 which would be the subnet and okay so we have given the ip address belong to ipv4 but if you have ipv6 configuration you can configure that in here now let's go to advance and in advance there are some few things you can configure but you can keep it as default there's a one thing you can configure here which is management profile there you can define which are the services you would like to allow for example if you go to management profile it is going to ask you which are the services you would like to run on this interface you want to run as an http https telnet ssh or all these services you would like to run but as per the security reason you can only 
enable the ping if it is belong to inside and since we have the management access on this particular firewall so we have already enabled HTTPS and SSH so we are not going to enable all those services but we want to use this firewall just for our understanding that it is reachable so we're going to enable ping only in future if we have created the user id then you need to select the user id as well but this is something we are going to use as a basic configuration which is going to allow ping so we have created one of the policy called allow ping so let's use the same policy let's go in here and use ping allow and then press ok let me drag it in here and then press ok so we have created one of the layer 3 interface which belong to inside now let's create one slash four which is going to be a web server zone right so let's create like uh, one slash four web server zone okay and layer 3 interface and then after that it's going to ask us which virtual router so you can keep you know as many interfaces in the same virtual router this is basically you know uh, you are doing the routing from the one virtual router only so you can keep it as the same router or you can utilize as a different router but that would be the part of different routing so you need to consider that part because if you are keep creating the different router the different routers are not going to be you know have the routing with each other so you need to consider that configuration so we're going to select the same router because we want the routing to be happen by using the same router now the security zone this is something we need to create different so let's go to zone and create web server zone and then just select ok that's it and then in here ipv4 now this is something going to act as a router so we need to define one of the uh, ip address as a going to act as a virtual router so i'm going to give ip 192.168.101 because this is the one of the vlan we had 101 slash 24 and we can give it as a enter and it's configured uh, we do not have ipv6 in advance if you want to allow ping so you can consider as a ping allow and just press ok so we have configured two interfaces for the internet so let's create this and we already have the outside interface configured let me show you here one slash one is already been outside but let's consider one slash six as an internet so we are going to give as an internet name and layer three let's create the same virtual router and in zone we already have outside so either we can select outside or we can create different zone as well so let's select the outside zone because this is the part of internet and this is the public ip you need to define so the ip you have uh, taken from your isp let's consider we have taken isp 1.2.3.100 ip and like slash 30 because like uh, they have given just two or four ip addresses based upon internet access only or it could be like uh, slash 29 if you have taken six to eight ip addresses so let's consider slash 29 and in here in advanced setting now this time we are not going to utilize which is being allow kind of uh, management profile because we do not want you know anybody can ping from outside to this firewall so we are going to select as a none for the security point of view so we have to just press ok because this is the basic configuration all we need for this particular zone or interface so what we did basically we configured one slash three for the inside one slash four for the web server zone and one slash six for our internet kind of routing so that is how you can configure the interface type for layer three now once this is configured all you need to do is you need to go into the policy and you can control the policy similar to layer 2 interface we configured if suppose this is the part of the internet traffic all you can do is you need to create one of the policy called internet traffic for example and you're going to select which would be your source at this point my source is inside as well as my source is web server we want you know internet access to be given so that they can pull some update or they can access to internet and you can have like much more detailed traffic controlling but let's say just internet pass and select 
outside as a destination zone and the application you can control by using application but let's see we want to just give the access for HTTPS traffic so that they can go to internet and access the URL and just press OK this is like very basic rule where you can create um, based upon you know your policy now you might be asking like what is the use of this all layer 3 interfaces because you are using the segmentation in layer 2 so that is something acting as good as layer 3 right so the one of the use of this layer 3 it is that it is going to act as a router so let's go to diagram again well as we can see in the layer 2 type interface we had this router right so after using the layer 3 we do not require this router anymore because this firewall basically going to act as a layer 2 and layer 3 so it also has the routing capability so what we can do is we can save the cost of the routing as well as we are going to have the security as well so what happened basically they are like a uh, multiple attackers or hacker in there they try to scan your public ip addresses right so if they are able to scan your ip address on router let's say there are some port are enabled or maybe this router is vulnerable then they can get an access for this particular router and suppose once they got the access to this router they can also may try to get access to your firewall as well right so if you have isp directly connected to your firewall right so what we did basically we first disallowed ping so we are not allowing the ping on the firewall and at the same time we can also create one of the policy called zone protection this is a very nice feature on the Palo Alto firewall so what will happen if attacker is going to scan your firewall they are going to disallow right away because this firewall is monitoring the behavior which is coming from the outside so if any activity is going as a malicious this firewall can take the action right away so that is the best use of using this firewall as a layer 2 and layer 3 because we can use this firewall as a layer 2 capability as well as layer 3 plus we can also use this for the security point of view so that is a good use of layer 3 as per my point of view so that is how you can create layer 3 interface on Palo Alto firewall well this is for now and I will see you in the next section see ya